You're the wind in my sails. You're the pull of the sea. You're the wish in the Ecclesiastes 4.12 says, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. And a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. So I promise to maintain our marriage as a relationship of three, with me and you, and God as our lead. I promise to lead us through my best judgment of what he wants. I promise to put your happiness ahead of my own and his will above both. I will cherish you and love you more than I love myself, and I promise to put your life ahead of my own. I promise to do my best to keep our relationship alive and exciting. I promise to love you and put you above work, above finances, and above anything else that may seem like a distraction. And on the days when it doesn't seem like that, just remember that you are the most important person in my life. And the good and the bad, I promise to love you and walk through this crazy life with you. The most. When I can't Always. find no words to speak, just know you're all I need. Wow, we're finally here. The day we've talked about and dreamed about for so long. Garrett, I could tell you a million times and that still wouldn't be enough. I am so incredibly thankful for you. You're all that I've ever prayed for. You're my best friend, my home, my calm, and my adventure. From this day forward, my heart is entirely yours. Garrett, I vow to always respect and honor you and the choices that you make for us. I'll always be there to dream with you, to build with you, to be your number one fan, and always encourage your wildest dreams. Even if that means us owning a crocodile zoo. I promise to wholeheartedly love you through any crisis and celebrate with you every success. I vow to be quick to listen and slow to anger, to give you my words when they're needed and share silence when they aren't. To love you during the highs and the lows, the good times and the bad, in whichever direction life takes us. I can't wait to watch us create a life together and allow God to continually mold our relationship into something truly beautiful. I don't think I'll ever find the words to describe how much you mean to me, but know that I love you unconditionally every aspect of you with my whole heart for my whole life. I'm thankful that you chose me and that I chose you. I would choose you over and over and over again, and I will continue to choose you for the rest of my days. I pray that we remember how we feel today and remind each other of this feeling when things get tough. I hope we always have those sweet coffee dates, silly competitions, and if three shots is a guarantee to a lifelong best friend, I hope we choose that too. I love you, Garrett, the most, always. Take you, Hannah. Take you, Hannah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> From this day forward. From this day forward. And to cherish you as a child of God. And to cherish you as a child of God. I intend to love. I, I intend to love. <laughs> <laughs> it was so clear that in every way they're so right for each other. Who who could take a spiritual inventory test and score exactly the same? <laughs> and their spiritual gifts match right up there. They love mercy and they love serving. They love taking care of people, both physically and in their hearts. And it's such a perfect match. Hearts worth falling for I'll carry yours Come Rain or shine
may God bless you and keep you and give you his peace. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Garrett, you may kiss your bride. You can count on it every time. It won't always be easy. Just as sure as the sun will. Nobody that compliments your silliness the way that Garrett does. You two are loving, generous, and most of all, God-fearing. Sometimes marriage is 99-1, and trust me, both of you are going to find yourself on that side of the equation. And so I challenge you to make the decision that when it's your turn to be the 99% giver, that you do so with a grateful heart and you ask for nothing in return. And what you'll find is when you experience the inevitable hardships that life has to offer and you feel like you're in the depths of the ocean, you'll have a partner that will grab a hold of you and bring you up for air. In your marriage, you have to remember that it takes work and it doesn't always come easy. But the daily work that you're putting in is going to be what leads to a strong marriage. And when things get hard and y'all face challenges, the work that you've put in each day along the way is going to be what keeps you strong. 
and you'll be equipped to conquer any obstacle. So pray together daily, laugh often, and travel, and keep God first and each other at a close second. Love my sister more today than you did yesterday, but not as much as you will tomorrow. Now let's raise a glass and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Lucas. I've known G all his life and better than most. Growing up, we were inseparable, and that didn't change as we got older. I took him everywhere with me, and he never met a person he couldn't befriend, despite his natural shyness. He always had my back, and the good times and the bad times, and later in the really bad times, always had my back. Never gave up on me, even when most everyone saw the writing on the wall. G didn't stop encouraging, believing, and praying for me. To purify gold, you heat the ore up, and the impurities rise to the top to be scraped off. And what you're left with is pure. And that's why I know G is my most loyal friend. Like Solomon said, a friend closer than a brother. As my preacher would say, he found his unicorn. And I know he'll bring the same dedication and loyalty many of you know him for to their relationship. So in short, even though he had to settle, I think he did all right. I love you.